What's up guys, I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your 4.2.1 device using Snowbreeze 2.2 and it's an untethered jailbreak and the difference between this one and Red Snow is that this one also includes the iPhone 3G and you can preserve your baseband a lot easier using this one if you want to upgrade and keep your baseband low. First thing you do is you go into the website I Hate Snow and I'll have the link in the description and you download Snowbreeze from here and you go here and I already have it and it'll look something like this I have WinRAR to extract the file, it's a zip file and I will just want to extract it onto my desktop I'll close this and it's right here and right now I have my as you can see it's the it's plugged into my computer right now the iPod Touch 4th generation and let's start I'll double click here also I, sh I should mention this um, you need to update your iTunes to the latest version before doing this and also you should download the 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 official 4.2.1 firmware for your device and I'll have a link from a website to download it from I already have it downloaded and I will just press OK here and it has a developers close credits I'll just press next sorry close credits okay now it needs to search for my IPSW and I have it on my desktop in here okay it's right here sorry about that let me zoom okay now it's identifying it okay and it recognizes the iPod touch 4th gen and I press next down here now there's different modes you should go into expert I think it's a little better and you go next and if you go into general and go next you can enable battery percentage and the wallpaper background for those devices like the iPhone 3G or 3GS that when you jailbreak it shows a black background and also when you well this is already enabled this is um to enable native multitasking some phones don't have this and what native multitasking does is that it gives multitasking to those devices that don't have multitasking like the iPhone 3G when you jailbreak install SSH it's instead of opening open SSH hold on sorry zoom in right there and also this is install the animated boot logo that they have and for those that have the iPhones this will be not boxed out and you can click on it what it does is that if you're not using AT&T you click on it to get past the uh, the emergency call screen but if you're on AT&T don't check this off and you just go back when you when you're done choosing your options you press next down here alright now these are the download packages if you know how to do it you should do it but click next now you can install sorry then and then you can press um when you when you're done with everything you can um I can't have a custom boot logo on this device or unlock it because I'm on an iPod touch you can install custom packages but I don't have any right now and when you're done with everything you go to build IPSW and press next down here with the blue arrow and what a cool thing they added was if I can get into focus you see right here it says while you're waiting for it to build you can play Pac-Man or no thanks will stick to the spinner let's just see what this thing is right here looks like it's it's not really loading for me I wonder why not really sure alright it's it's not working I guess for now but I'll be back when it's done creating the IPSW let me return to spinner and you see down here the loading bar and I'll be back when it's done alright and while it's creating it I should should have mentioned this before but for those of you that are on the when you plug in your iPhone instead of an iPod touch you notice how I only had the simple mode and expert mode for those of you that are on iPhones you'll have this option and if you want to preserve your baseband which is required which is a good thing to do if you're interested in unlocking you should click here and it'll let you preserve it while you update it and let's see the status okay now we're also done with this so it says press OK to go to the on-screen instructions press OK and also right here you see sorry grab the wrong thing 
up here it created an IPSW uh, which is its own firmware and it's um, a cracked one so you can jailbreak now it's gonna show you how to put your device into DFU mode and I'll be following the instructions I can't get my iPod touch because it's plugged in on screen so I'll be doing them with you okay now the first thing I have to make sure is that your device is turned off I just turned mine off and then you press start and now you have to prepare you're gonna be pressing power soon and press power and home for 10 seconds Seven. Now just release the power and keep holding home for another 25 seconds. Okay, now a message pops up and let's see what this is. Well, let me see what this message your device is now in a pwn dfu state block screen you may now launch itunes use shift restore to install okay cleaning up and this is the software update i guess i did not install the latest itunes so i'll be back when i do it oh never mind it's right here i made a mistake i never agreed to it when i installed it so okay now it says that it is detected on iPod in recovery mode and I must restore so hold on now on a Windows computer you're going to do shift and then left click and you hold shift and click on restore and now you'll go into where the um, snow breeze left the the IPSW the one that it made it made sorry and you go into open and restore it to this jailbreak and I'll be back when it's done okay now when it's done restoring you should be jailbroken and you just um, Cydia should be already downloaded and if, if it's not there then just go through the whole process again and also make sure that you sh um, hold shift and restore to this made um, for IPSW instead of the stock one because that's you have to make sure it says snow breeze and then whatever you have mine says ipod touch 4.2.1 all right guys remember to comment rate, and subscribe and thanks for watching